Idibo, tumbo ni ojo ke dogmo, oshu keji, oshu tawa ni nwe yi, eh, mudefe be e yin e ba mi, ati e yin iya mi un, ati e yin e bon mi, ati e yin a buro mi, bi to la ti dibo. Pe ka tuyaya, ka tuyaya, ka wasi ibu idibo, la ti dibo fun e mi omo yi, li mi gbe le rin yi, fun idibo ye igbale le mama wa lori card idibo eh egbe igbale le ma fi ika ilabe yin le ma fi tesi o so stand up for the champions for the champions stand up stand up stand up for the champions for the champions stand up Right now we are at Igbesha to pay court to visit to engineer Tunji Accuracy, the incoming House of Rep. Well, I'm the candidate for the All Progressive Congress's um, seat for the House of Representative for Adodo Ota Federal Constituency. As is a cosmopolitan federal constituency, we are spanning from Agbara to Igbesa, to Ejila, to Songo, to Joko, to Ota. Several industries and industrial bases there. And uh, we have several thousands of people that are natives and inhabitants of this federal constituency. I've been um, the commissioner representing the people of Adodo between 2008 and 2011, when Governor Benga Daniel was at the saddle. I was commissioner for agriculture. And um, that was when our state won several laurels in the Fadama 3 project that is bringing agriculture close to the people, the provision and production of um, and distribution of um, fertilizers and farm inputs and implements were very, very close to the people. Then you see that um, the farm institute and um, the farm land that we have in Ado was in great use and was part of the um, um, farm lands that were used for the, the project that I talked about earlier. Then Ogun State scored the first and continued for the three years that we were there, both in the production of um, livestock and eggs and in the production of cassava. So that was a very big thing then, and Adodo and its environs were the best for it. It also brought in several other um, starch and starchy-based um, um, organizations into our area as far as, and as far as the express road leading to Abeokuta. I had also been chairman of, vice chairman and chairman of council in the Adodo Water local government in 2007. And um, that also brought in its development, its toll here on our people positively. We constructed the Aino Road. We also have boreholes sunk in several areas in Igbesa and its environs, Adodo, Agbara, and several other places there. In um, 2019, I became Honorable Commissioner again representing our people in Adodo, at our local government, that doubles as our federal constituency in uh, the administration of. Um, the current governor, Prince Dakwabiodun. I resigned in April 2022 to contest for the House of Representatives seat, which I am the candidate now. Um, contesting so, for the House of Representatives amongst the other brothers and sisters of mine that have um, um, shown interest and are candidates of other parties, I'm sure that uh, the difference is like day and night. I am the candidate that um, knows this federal constituency like the back of my palm. I'm the candidate that have done more and have assisted them, be it scholarships, 
go and ask in the polytechnic, go to the secondary school, go to Malia and Igbesa High School, go there, you see for yourself chairs that have been donated there several years, personally equipping their laboratories, building um, schools, uh, classrooms, as well as um, conveniences for them. So you see that moving around the federal constituency, who has touched these people before now, right? that person will be me. Who knows what it is that a representative is supposed to do? That's also me. Right? Who has the prerequisite to go to Abuja and represent our people? Check the CVs of the people that have applied for this job or that are contesting for this position, and you see that none right, fits into that job description and has the prerequisite or the qualification to do that more than myself. I'm sure that I'm the one that will get that slot. I'm sure that I'm the one that the cap fits. I'm only at, uh, praying and asking our electorates in Nadodo or the federal constituency to shed um, uh, violence, to shed abuses. This election is not for abusing people. This election is for showing the stuff that you have. This election is for those of you in the fourth state of the uh, fourth estate of the realm to invite the people that want to go and represent you to a debate to ask them questions and see those that you will send there. The election is coming up on the 25th. I want to appeal to our young ones that you should not be used as touts. You should not be used to disrupt elections. This election is not like the ones that we've had before. This election is one that if you do not have a voter's card, do not come close to, the, to any of the polling units. We have 655 polling units in my federal constituency, and I'm appealing to our young ones and to our parents to talk to our young ones not to come to the polling unit or come near there, not to be used as disruptive agents, not to be used as people that will uh, uh, want to stop others from going to performing to perform their civic um, rights. Please stay off the roads, stay off the routes that lead to the polling unit, and stay off the polling unit. We do not need quarrels. We do not need fight. Politics and representation is one that is of service. Once people have started, start, once anybody starts employing you to go fight on the day of election. You should start thinking and start knowing that that person has, does not have your best interest at heart, and that person is not going to serve you. That person is going to rule, and ruling is not what we want. Serving the people, serving them with all your heart is what we want. And if you know you are what, what it takes, please don't send thugs. Don't send youths that do not have voters' um, card. Don't send them to the streets. So stand up for the champions, for the champions. Stand up, stand up, stand up for the champions, for the champions. Stand up.